In this video, I'm going to be running my diffusion pump for the first time. A diffusion pump is a type of high vacuum pump used to create pressures of about 1 times 10 to the negative fifth tor, roughly 76 million times lower than atmospheric pressure. A diffusion pump works by heating a special type of oil under vacuum until it boils. Once it starts boiling, the oil vapor is ejected through nozzles on the chimney, the Christmas tree shaped piece. These high velocity, high mass oil particles will crash into stray air particles and carry them down to the bottom of the pump. This means that at the base of the diffusion pump, near the foreline, there will be a higher pressure that the backing pump can carry away. The pump has lines for water cooling along the walls to reliquify the oil vapor so that the process can repeat. From earlier testing, I found that the diffusion pump had some leaks. To test this, I submerged the pump underwater and applied pressure to it. You can see bubbles escaping near the base, indicating a fairly large leak. To seal this, I sanded the surface and applied JB Weld anywhere that bubbles had escaped. I turned on the pump heater and let the epoxy cure overnight at about 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm filling the diffusion pump with oil. I don't have any real data on the pump, so I just estimated from its size that it probably takes about 50 milliliters. The oil I'm using is Dow Corning 704, mostly because it was cheap and easy to find. Here you can see my water cooling setup. I created a siphon running from the height of my sink to the drain in the bathtub. This doesn't produce a very high flow rate, but it still keeps the body of the pump cool to the touch. I later found that it was much easier to connect the input of the cooling line to my shower head instead of trying to siphon from the sink, so now I cool the pump using this method. Now I'm pumping down the chamber using just the roughing pump. The diffusion pump cannot be turned on until the pressure is below about 200 millitor. My meter reads in microns, but millitor and micron are the same thing. If the diffusion pump is at operating temperature, about 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and gets exposed to oxygen, the oil will burst into flames, something I'm not really interested in dealing with in my apartment. At this point, the pressure is roughly 100 millitor, and the pumping is pretty much stalled out. Once the diffusion pump reaches its operating temperature, it quickly brings the pressure down to 50 millitor. The diffusion pump is definitely working, but there's either a major leak in the system or my gauge isn't reading accurately, because the pressure should drop a lot lower. That's all I've got for now. The rest of the video is just the pump cooling back down. Thanks for watching, and consider subscribing.